Hi everyone and welcome back to the course. In this lesson we'll search for references online. We can use Google Images so we have basic references when drawing our heroines. I'm going to choose three. In this case the first I'll choose is Rey from the latest Star Wars movies. I'm going to use this hero to study the poses, the costume, expressions and general feeling we get from the character. For instance, we'll start with this image here. We can see clearly that the costume, the clothes, are seen in profile. Later on we'll search for images from the front, but here we can see how the weapon works, we can see her expression, and again that general feeling that we get from her. In this image here we see her hairstyle. We won't really focus on the details because we're going to use our own style to draw this character. What we're more interested in at this point is understanding how the character works as a whole. We can check out the general colour palette for the character, where we have various options. This action figure could be very useful to us for the pose. The staff crosses the body and the arms are opposing, and we can use this for our drawing. This image is perfect to observe the expression of our hero, that hard, serious expression. As you'll see later, pretty much all the heroines have a similar expression, so we need to use that. Observe this image, the expression of the character. The eyebrows, as we said before, are pointing downwards, just like the lips. You could also look for cosplay references to understand the clothing and costume of the character a little better. It's always interesting to take a look at different images that might not be from the actual film. So now you have a general idea of this Star Wars character, Rey. We have some great images that could help us. Now we'll move on to Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is a very stereotypical heroine. So we have a great selection of images that are going to help us. Here we have a perfect pose. The shoulders are aligned with the waist. It's a straight position. It's very good. This other one is more dynamic, and it's also great for the colours, the colour range that we can use for our drawing later on. So here we can see the armour really well, and that will help us when drawing those metallic textures. This one here doesn't work so well for the colours, but it does for the character's costume. So here we can see her corset and her skirts. We can copy this later when we do our own drawing. We need large images where we can see everything properly. So these are a little too small, so we won't be using those. These are better. Here we can see exactly what the costume is like, the colours and the pose. This is a perfect position. It has the movement we need and it has a light contrapposto. So I think we'll definitely use this as a reference when drawing our character. So now we have all we need to draw Wonder Woman. And we'll move on to Katniss, the main character from the Hunger Games movies. This character is very tough, a character inspired by strength and resistance, so perfect for a hero. The costume we'll use for inspiration is from the Mockingjay movie. This image shows us the costume and the pose we're interested in. The pose is again perfect and it's very heroic. In this image we can see her hairstyle Hairstyles are great for characterising people, and it's really important to bear in mind when we're drawing our character. This other image shows us the strength and tough expression of the character. Observe this image. Here we have a very dynamic pose where the character looks courageous. It shows us her personality, emotions, maybe way of thinking. In this other image, we can see how the neck works and the shoulder pads of the costume. This could be very useful when we're copying and drawing our hero. So remember any small details that you like. Great, so we have all the information we need for our three heroes. Now you just need to apply all of this to the three drawings we're going to do. 
you could select the characters you want from movies or video games, and you can use your own style, of course. This reference search will be really useful for the next lesson, as you'll see. So I'll see you there.